Hi guys, how are you doing today? So yeah, today I just want to talk about why Inazuma bounties are better than the Mondstadt and Leo A1. So yeah, so apologize right now, we'll just do the level 80 bounty. So but yeah, why not? Why not the level 100? Guys, this is, this is my second account. It's not that as strong. That's my main account. So yeah, so what's good about the Ina and Zuma bounty because unlike Mondstadt and Liyue bounties which are a total blatant uh, blatant whatever how you pronounce that blatant, blatant, blatant upfront waste of time by Mihoyo yeah this one uh, is just uh, straight to the point straight to the bounty straight to the battle so when you scan so you're going to be uh, straight to the target compared compared to the uh, Inazuma bounties that are annoying so die bloodsuckers so we have more archers here so this will be revenge Revenge of the Fallen Now we're winning Three, four, five, six, one, two, three, boom, eight I think this guy is just really strong Oh my, my Eula is weak. I thought I had better artifacts. Or is it already good damage? I don't know. You tell me guys in the comments. But maybe I could do better. Uh, yeah, no, but that was without a Bennett buff. So. Yeah, so that is why uh, Inazuma bounties are better, straight up, because uh, it's not a waste of time. So, have a great day, see you in the next video.